Red. Oubre gets the first touch. He attacks, drives, stops. Left hand good. That's an ideal situation for Philadelphia. It is clear. Philadelphia targeting Anthony Simons. Tobias Harris had that ball. His DA knocked down a jump shot. He did a lot of that last night without him beating and Maxi. Who kind of decides to step up the way Paul Reed did in the last game at Denver? Aiden slips through and floats it in. He's got all four Blazers points and Marina. And it is staying with him. Beverly on the other end looks to Batum in the corner. Three-pointer on the way. Good. First three made by either. Confused at why that's Philly ball. Here's Reed for three and it's good. Scoot who comes away with it finds Grant. Ball faking a drive. Slips through and puts it in. Driving to the basket looks good for coming left. 4.6ers lead. Scoot in the drive. The lob to Aiton and he stuffs it home. That's some of what we saw. Sixers two of nine from distance. Brogdon again on the drive. Right to the rim and lays it in over the front of the cup. He wanted the whistle, didn't get it. Here comes Beverly back the other way for Philadelphia. Takes off. Drives. Waits and puts it in. But a whistle on the floor first. He did. Because Scoot put enough on that layup attempt to make it. Hey! There's a lob on the other end that finishes with Bamba. Working against his former teammate Fiber. Kamara comes to help. Passes out of him. Now underneath as Morris slips through, gets the dunk, and the Sixers lead this one by five. Is there a largest? We'll tell you about the half-court contest later. Beverly takes off, drives. There's a whistle in the bucket. He's seeking the body. Now, Lamar, I know you... Just couldn't get it to drop. Blazers over four from distance. There's a one and a half second differential. Harris pulls up. It's good. Sixers by eight. Brogdon. The Bible at the horn. It's not going to count. And it wasn't to tell. And when he elevates, gets up even higher. Four seconds. Enough for Jeremy Grant to get this off. Fades to beat the buzzer and hits it. Mm. Not much you can do about that. KJ Beverly lost a handle on it. And get it back to reset with three and a half to shoot. Drives and dunks it in down the center of the lane. That's a good drive from Pat Beverly. A little bit. You ain't crossing no lines. It's just in the flow competition. Just like Grant JT. Fouled and count the three. Yeah, he might be ready to talk his talk right now. The wide open look. That is more good offense from the Blazers that just does not lead to a made shot. That was on the cylinder. Good. Turns, fades. No, just short. Martin with a one-on-two on the other end. Drive, steps through, left hand. Good. Uh, his athleticism is that a get back on it. Maybe I should. Right. Light, light got busy. Boom. Oubre right to the river. Left hand puts it in. And the long rebound is kicked away, but Simons comes away with it. Now Grant's got it. Drives on Reed. Lays it in. 16 in the first games in a row of getting at least one offensive rebound. It was the third longest active streak for a rookie. Tumani had the second longest active streak that was also 50% in this game. Blazers at 46. Here's the drive by Brogdon. Gets the contact and the bucket. Well, it depends on who the teammate is, too. Morris takes the three and gets it. That is true. Grant takes a swipe at it. Now a hesitation. Floats it up. It is good. He got that up. Simon's left hand. Good. Had to recalibrate before he went back at the ring. Yes. Walker comes away with it out to Grant. To the baseline. Now cross court. Open three. Good. Yes. Malcolm Brogdon from downtown. Travis, that's where really the stop. Down one with a minute to play in the half. Simons has it. Looks for eight underneath. Slips through. Puts it in. Blazers lead 54-53. Initiate the offense at eight. Simons takes off. Drives right to the rim. Left hand go. They leave 4.4 on the clock. On the other direction. Here is Beverly. Steps back three at the horn. It's no good. Both teams with their starting fives out on the floor to open up the second half. Brogdon with the lob to Aiden, hammers it down and rattles the rim. Great action last night against Chicago. Some dribble handoffs leading to engaging DeAndre's defender and then throwing the lob to him. There goes Paul Reed. Reed in front of eight. Meets Harris working to get Simon's left hand. That's a strong move from Harris. He used that right chicken wing. Deal. 
Blazers lead this one by three. There's another lob and another hammered off with two hands. Another beautiful feed from Malkin in, in a particular situation. Harris goes with the right hand and answers back off the glass. You know, last night Malcolm had a 30 plus point, uh, 30 plus foot after a big Grant block on the other end. Time is double T. Beautiful pass. Slips it now underneath to Walker. Right hand, good. Down to cover. Simon's deep three on the way. No good. The loose ball is knocked around. Walker comes away with it along the baseline of the rim. Got it. Blazers by 10. Right there uh, as a, a great ally for me as a lob on the other end. Wow, DeAndre Ayton comes out of nowhere to stuff that home. I can get used to this, Travis. <laughs> I think everybody it can. Looks good. At least everybody in Rip City. And that one goes through. 82-66. Great teams have been in really tough situations down the stretch all the time. That's why him, me, and Jeremy Grant were able to hold it down. We've been there before. He knows this game is far from over. Gray attacks into the lane on eight and slips through with a reverse and banks it in. Yeah, that's one reason why. Yep. The Lasers with their largest lead of 19. Gray drives, rounds it out, gets his own rebound, back up with it in eight. He was able to get to that so quickly because J.T. Yes. and Robert Covington, two of their best point of attack defenders. Ubre gets another basket and another foul. Good look. Just didn't fall. Martin on the other end, off the window for two. Sixers close the gap to 14. Simons with 10. Stakes off to the corner. Kamara drives back to Ann. Down to five. Center of the lane. Goes up and under. Banks it into the foul. And Simons will go on again. Looking for him as he's fronted. There goes the high flash. High low now. Oh, this is good basketball. Good. This is good basketball. Tease. That was a terrific pass from Aiton as he picks up his second assist. Return of the letter O. Bible from the corner. No good. Kamara nearly knocked it in. Then he gets it back out to Brogdon for three. Buries it. 24 for Malcolm Brogdon. A tale as old as time, keeping the guy from getting past him. Matisse is great as defensive strength is when he's in space. One or two passes away. Gets the influence of certain pass to be made. This time it's in the Blazers' favor. Oubre yeah. trapped. Looks underneath for Reed. It was open. Reed can't get that one to go. I found out that this game was traded from my wife. It's Ricky Council. The fourth takes that one to the rim. Did it make your teeth hurt more, or was what, what was this? Well, but the text said before, as Dame will do, he'll reach out to the younger guys and provide whatever insight he can upon their request. Scoop knocking down another triple. So those family units have done a tremendous job in shaping who these guys are to the point that. They don't even have to be basketball players. If they weren't NBA players the way they are. Uh, before the game tonight. And something I love about Scoot is unbridled confidence, which I do believe comes from hard work and obviously support of his family. And he knows what he's put into this game. Oh, there we go. Look at him right there. Uh, and what, uh, I was just actually going to bring up the support that he also shows his team. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Here's Scoot with a hammer on the other end. Count the basket and one. Scoot's got 17 in the fourth quarter. 130 to 102. Morrow is wide open, passed up to three. Turns it over. Council on the other end. Oh, with a reverse jam. Cocked it back and hammered it down. Touches on the victory over the Sixers. It's a Rip City 